Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay and welcome to today's Phase 3 Phonics. Today, as normal, we're going to recap some of the sounds from previous sessions, we're going to look at a brand new sound and then we'll read some words and some sentences containing our new sound. Shall we begin? Let's take a look. So to begin today's session, I'd like you to spend some time reading through all the words on the screen. Now hopefully you can spot that on the left part, I've put all the words that contain the R digraph. In the middle column, we've got all the words that contain the er digraph. And on the far right column, we've got all the words that contain the or digraph. Now to help you, you might want to write them out onto flashcards, you might want to add your own sound buttons, it's completely up to you, but practice these until you feel really Okay, so let's have a go at reading these words together. We've got art, dark, mark, start, Smart, sharp, charm, march. In the middle, we've got sir, bird, skirt, shirt, chirp, firm, and squirm. And on the far right, we've got form. Born, storm, north, short, and porch. So today we're looking at a brand new digraph and it's got the letter E and the letter R. And when they come together, they make the sound er. Uh. Can you say that with me? Uh. And one more time. Uh. Right, let's get our wiggly fingers ready. We're going to have a go at writing this digraph on the line. So our first letter is the letter E. So we're going to go up, around and flick. And the next letter is the letter R, which we've been practicing quite a lot recently. We're going to go up, down, up halfway and a little flick. So should we ever go at writing the E and the R together without stopping our finger? So we're going to go around, up, down, up halfway and flick. So now it's time to imagine the er uh sound in our head. So take a photo and cover your eyes for me. So which two letters make the sound er? Uh? It's an E and an R, well done. So get your wiggly fingers ready. We're going to start with the E, going around, down, flick. And then we're going to do the letter R. So we're going to go up and down, up halfway, and a little flick there too, okay? So that makes the sound uh. Let's have a look. Oh, a nice easy one to start with. What does this word say? You got it straight away, it says uh, her. Her name is Miss Butler. My name is Miss Butler. Okay, so now it's your turn to spend a few moments reading these words and then we'll come together to read them after. If it helps you, you might want to put the sound buttons on too. Great, let's sound it out. Heard, herd, herd. I can see a herd of sheep, and that's the name for a group of sheep. And the next word. Okay, so this one was put in to try and trick you a little bit. So here we've got the letter G, 
And normally it makes a g sound, isn't it? Like normal, like in got and go. But sometimes the letter G can make a j sound as well. J, uh, mm, germ. I have a germ on my finger. Let's hope not. You've got to wash your hands to get rid of the germs. And the next word. Great. T, uh, mm, term. It is now summer term at school. Okay, let's read it together. St -ern, st -ern, stern. She was very stern. Stern is another word for strict. And our next word. Great, let's sound it out together. Fern, fern. That is a fern tree. Well, a little bit hard, this one. Brilliant, let's sound it out together. X, X, P, Ert, Pert, Expert. Expert, that means somebody who's the very, very best at a certain thing. And the next word. Well done, let's sound it out. P -person. Person. Person. She is my favourite person. And the final word's got the er uh, digraph at the end. Well done, that was a tricky one. Let's sound it out. S Smoother, smoother. My bag is smoother than yours. Now that's the end of our words for now. I wonder if you can think of any other words that contain the er digraph. Spend a few minutes trying to think of your own now. And now is our chance to have a go at reading some full sentences that have got the er uh sound in them. Now, these are questions today and they end with a question mark. They're all asking you something. So you've got to tell me, is it true or is it false? So have a few moments reading the question first. Okay, should we try together? Are you an expert? Expert. An expert. Are you an expert? Which means are you really, really good at singing? Question mark. Are you an expert at singing? Miss Butler has to put her thumbs down here. Not very good at singing. Are you? Okay, and the next question for you. Okay. 
Do you live with one person? Person? Question mark. Do you live with one person? Okay, so Miss Butler puts her thumbs up here because I live in my house with one other person. And our final question today. Okay, should we read it together? Have you ever seen a herd, herd? Have you ever seen a herd of cows? Cows, question mark. Have you ever seen a herd of cows? So have you ever, ever seen a, a big group of cows together? I have, so I'm going to put my thumbs up. Brilliant, and that's all of our reading for today. And that's the end of today's phase three phonics session. So as always, I'd like you to spend the today and tomorrow reviewing all the words that we've looked at today. Once you're really confident reading them, I'd like you to have a go at writing them all out. Once you've done that, you might want to think of your own sentences containing some of these words. Now, if you really want a challenge today, you might want to think of some sentences with a full stop. You might want to think of some questions and you might want to think of some exclamations. It's up to you. Once you've finished it, I'd like you to send through all of the work that you've been doing so that we can showcase them on our feedback show. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of today and the learning that you've got planned. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.